All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Suit Refuel mod, which is being made by forum user Huxtus. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a fun new Suit Refuel part, which you can put on the exterior of your ship, planetary bases, rovers, etc., that will allow you to actually refuel your Kerbal's EVA suit while they're on EVA. And I cannot tell you how much I love this mod, as in my own personal games, between mods that add in EVA science as well as the Kerbal attachment system, I have a tendency to keep my Kerbals outside of the ship for a long time, especially on other planets. And when you're using, say, TAC life support, it gets really annoying having to constantly get your Kerbal back inside the base or back inside the ship every time they need to refill their needs. Now you simply have them walk up to this part, get on the ladder, and hit refuel, and they are resupplied with all that they require. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So let's jump real quick into the space plane hangar and have a look at the one and only part that makes this thing possible. And then we'll go to the runway where I have a little rover to show you how it works. So you will find the suit refuel station down here in utility. And here we are, the suit refuel, which has no other stats besides basically a mass of 0.3 tons. So a little bit heavy, but well worth Worth the weight on any mission and you simply plop it out there. Now I know it may not be the prettiest of models or the prettiest of textures but its usefulness outweighs all of that in my opinion and it's just a simple awesome part. Like I said, you just gotta have your Kerbal walk up to it, they get on this ladder and you gotta go far enough up for it to actually refuel because a tube comes out of this side bit here and attaches to their EVA suit backpack. And yeah, that is our lovely part. It's it's just it's just nice. So let's go out to the runway and uh, check it out in action where I have a suit refuel rover with Jebediah and I believe Bill ready to show off this mod. And uh, so once loaded, let's just get Jebediah out on EVA. There we are. And I just realized my ladder is a bit too short, but oh well, Jebediah will be fine. There we go, he didn't even fall over. Perfect! So say, you know, uh, the situation is you've had Jebediah running around for hours on end doing various sciency things, and oh no, his EVA propellant is almost out. What do you do? Well, typically, you'd go back into the crew hatch, but now with the suit refill, or refuel rather, you just gotta walk up here, and there we go. Notice how you kind of uh, budge over to the side right then on the ladder. That's roughly where you need to be. And then you just right click and start refueling. There you go, that tube comes out, and our Kerbal gets his EVA propellant. But notice, of course, we also have TAC life support installed, and there's also electric charge in our suit too. What about all of those things? Well, that's where the suit refuel really gets fun, because if we right click on the suit refuel, and rather than hitting start refueling, we go to pump settings, we get this lovely little UI, and by default, the only thing this thing will pump out to refuel your Kerbal with is EVA propellant, but we can turn on electric charge, food, water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, or waste and waste water, all of these to whatever we need. So let's say again, let's bring out the miscellaneous tools and uh, say our Kerbal's been out for a while, he's got some waste, some waste water, some carbon dioxide, and he's used all of these various materials. Ooh, lots of electric charge, and oh no, lots of monopropellant. He's in bad shape. Well, kind of, he's still got plenty of food and water for a while, 
But what we need to do is just go over to these options and to transfer it to the Kerbal, you want it to be green like the EVA propellant. So we just need to click an electric charge. So electric charge will pass over to the Kerbal. Same with food, water, and oxygen. Now, of course, we don't want to give our Kerbal more carbon dioxide waste or waste water. We want that to be pumped out and in to the holding tank over here on the ship. So instead, we just need to hit this button twice. So one, two, there we go, and it's red and saying that it is now going to pump that carbon dioxide out of our EVA suit and into the ship. Do that same for waste and waste water. Perfect, let's pin that for uh, Jebediah Kerman there. And we can simply now go back to here and start refueling. And the tube comes out, and look at all of it go. It pulled out the, all the various waste products, refueled all of our needs, and our Kerbal can be back on his way to science and adventure. And that is a wonderful thing. I really love the idea of this mod, and I know perhaps for a rover it's not the most important thing, as it is pretty easy to get back into the command pod, but if you are on a large space station or a large sprawling base on a planet, having these things strategically placed around your facility could really save you a lot of time rather than having to constantly have your Kerbal walk or fly back to a command pod. You just place these in strategic areas and he can go on for basically ever. And that, that is why I love this. It gives you many more opportunities for keeping your Kerbal out on EVA. And well, that's really all there is to this mod. It's it's pretty simple, not a whole lot to talk about with it, but I, I do truly love this thing as it does offer some new interesting gameplay possibilities with it. And I plan on keeping this in my own personal game for quite some time as it's just nice. Look at the tube go and there it all gets refilled and pumped away. Isn't it lovely? But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Not a whole lot to talk about with this one. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, and I would definitely recommend that you do it, take a look at the link in the description as always. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode, when we'll be looking at what hopefully is another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.